We're going to now walk through the many different pieces of evidence that scientists have to show that the continents used to fit together in a supercontinent called Pangaea. One piece of evidence that scientists use to prove the theory of continental drift is that the continents fit together like a puzzle. If you look here, you see that these continents that are now much further apart once fit together like a puzzle piece. Scientists use the information that these continents line up as evidence that they once were actually aligned. Another piece of evidence that scientists use to prove continental drift is fossils. They found the same fossils on different continents near the edges that would have aligned in Pangaea. This proves that one type of animal used to inhibit both places, suggesting that the two places used to be together. So you can see here that these animals, this animal used to live in all of these places, and it would have been very hard for it to get across the water over here, and then across the water to India, and then across the water and down to Antarctica, especially now that Antarctica is way down here. So that tells us that they might have used to been together. Same goes for this type of plant. It was in all four of these continents, but now they're way too far apart for it to have actually inhabited all four of those continents. Scientists can also study the types of land and the dating of the land on the edges of continent to see that they used to touch. It's basically the same as fossil evidence, only with matching land formations instead of fossils. The final piece of evidence is glaciation. Glaciers are large, frozen, slow-moving rivers of ice. They carve out U-shaped valleys as they move. If scientists find evidence that a glacier once existed in an area but no longer does, they can show that that area used to be in an Arctic region and then drifted towards the equator, warming up and causing the glaciers to melt. I live in Massachusetts and we have lots of evidence of glaciers. Now Massachusetts is a lot closer to the equator than it used to be when it was up towards the Arctic. 